Hey guys, Coach Sam here, and joining with um, SOS Director Bex, and we're going to be bringing you the um, latest version of our uh, home workouts. Yeah? Okay, so um, guys, you should have any warm up. Uh, there's a warm up on the app. If you haven't done it, press pause on this video and go and do that. It's important that you, um, you warm up properly and effectively for every single session. So um, if you haven't done that, press pause now, go back and, uh, and do that to make sure you're ready to hit this workout. So me and Bex are presuming that you've done your workout. Bex has done hers, uh, so we're going to crack on now with the A series. So for the A series, you've got a little bit of push and pull. Uh, A1 is, um, is a pressing variation, and A2 is a row. So ideally, you know, for these workouts, you all need now uh, bands, okay, so ideally a red band and a purple band should be enough for today. You can also go with a green and a, and a blue band if you're potentially stronger. You do need these guys for the workouts, I can't stress this enough. Uh, you need these and you also need a uh, Swiss ball that you can see behind the big blue ball there. That's all you need guys for these workouts. We will give you uh, different um, options for those of you that don't have them, but guys, it make your life a lot easier if you just get these. So, what we're going to do guys, we're going to start off with press-ups, we've got 12 reps. Um, ideally, we want a bit of resistance, okay, so what we can do is you can put the, the press up, um, the band around you, put the press up, you're going to go onto your, your front, okay, yeah, and we're going to go down for four, three, two, one, and we're going to push up, four, three, two, one, and we're going to push up. If the band is too hard, then you can lose the band, uh, or if you feel it strong, you can use um, a purple band. That's our A1, we're going to take 60 second rest, and then we're going to go into our A2, going to be a row, you can sit down, put the band around your feet, I'm just going to row in, squeeze the back and then release, squeeze the back and then release. You're normally a bit stronger with pulling than pushing, so um, Bex is going to try and use the purple band on set one on the rows and the red band on set one for the present. Happy? Right, we've got four sets, let's see how, uh, how she goes, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Bex is cold, so she's uh, you know, we'll come back a little bit so the camera can see him. You can stay, that's it. We'll stay a little bit further back. Okay, perfect. So Bex is going to try and do 10 to 12 reps. Yeah, if what you need, you're going to do. Yeah, get down slowly. Four, three, two, one, and press up. One. Good. So Bex is going to stay in that tempo, four seconds down, and then trying to come up nice and explosive. Okay, so it's a four second eccentric. Four, three, two, one, and press up. Okay, guys, if this is too hard, you can just lose the band. Bex is doing a band press up here on her knees, okay? So that's one variation. Um, if, you, if you find this easy, you can also go on your toes, like I demonstrated. If the band is too much, then lose the band and just do press ups on your knees, like Bex is, uh, is demonstrating here. Good, should we go for it 12 reps? Done? Okay, 60 second rest. Now, this is a resistance workout, guys, okay? So if Bex just goes straight into her rows and she makes a circuit, her performance on those uh, on these exercises is going to dip and, uh, and tailor off, okay? So we want to make sure we can follow progressive overload. We want a, a 12 solid reps across all four sets. So um, I'll, I'll calculate your rest on my stopwatch. It's very, very important, guys, that we, uh, we do take the rest on our A and B series through this program to make sure you are using heavier loads. Okay, and if Bex finds these X's okay, we can potentially go heavier on the second, third, and, um, and fourth set. Okay? Yeah. So Bex got her My Zone belt on as well. So guys, those of you that got the, the My Zone belts, uh, the straps, make sure you put that on and we can see how, how hard you're working, okay? You're not gonna be red zoning on, on, on this workout. It's a more strength to help your body lay down some, uh, some muscle tissue. Okay, that's a minute rest, so on the row now, Bex is going to pull in, she's going to pause, squeeze her back here, and then release, good. Release nice and slowly, pull in, hold, and release, good. She should, should get a nice contraction, that's it. Keep your chest lifted, head lifted as well. She's going to go on for 12 reps. Good, make sure you breathe as well, good. Well done. You slowly you squeeze, good. Good, make sure the band is properly wrapped around your feet, guys. If it's not, it could swing up and hit you in the face, not what we want. Or alternatively, here, if you're at home, you could put the band underneath the sofa uh, or something that's sturdy enough, okay? 
Right, so that's another minute rest. And I'll set one done. We've got three more sets of, um, of that. Guys, if you're not very good at press ups, you can do incline press ups, so you can, you can feel free to lean against a table or a chair or something that's on a bit of an incline. This will be a little bit easier. A step, okay? And the higher the incline, the easier it, um, it is. All right, how's, how's that first set? Easy? Yeah. Hard? Are you sure? Hard. Yeah, press ups are hard, okay. Cool. Good, so that's our minute rest nearly, so we're going to go back in now to, um, to our next set of, uh, of press-ups. Okay, here we are. Okay, hands going. Yep, going for another set of 12. Okay, so slowly down. Four, three, two, one, and up. That's one. Four, three, two, one, up. Two, four, three, two, one, up. Three, four, three, two, one, up. Four, four. Three, two, one, up. Five, good. Now six, good tempo, good technique. Eight, good. Nine. Ten, last two. Eleven, and one more. Twelve, great. And guys, if you can't manage the twelve reps, that's fine. Just make a note on a piece of paper in terms of how many you do, and then you can go into the app and you can actually track the performance of your workout. Okay, and it'll, it'll spit out whether it's or not it's been a personal best uh, for the workout. I'll come back a little bit back to the and just slowly go on camera, okay? And stay behind the time. Yeah, all right. Swing to the rows. Where you hold the band, guys, if you hold the band further up here, there'll be more tension. The further away you, have, you, you hold it towards you, the uh, Easy it is. So chest lifted again. That's it. Three, two, one. Drive those elbows back. Good. And release slowly. Go for 12 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, perfect little course, you pull in two more. Eleven, one more flex, and twelve, rest. Good. So guys, if you haven't got bands, just look at the motion Bex is doing. It's a pull, and you can substitute that for any pull. There's TRXs down there, okay? So we could do a TRX row if you had a TRX at home. If you didn't have um, a band, you could do some form of bend over dumbbell row or bend over barbell row. If you had a kettlebell, it could be a single arm row. Obviously, with a single arm, you'd have to do both sides, okay? But swap, if you can't do these exercises, uh, swap pulling motions for other pulling motions and pushing motions for other pushing motions, okay? So it could be a chest press instead of the press up if you wanted to. But pre everyone can do press ups, you just need to go on a higher incline if required. Okay, that's two sets, guys. Right, we're going to set number three. Good. Three, two, one. Okay, slowly down and press up. So Bex's arm is about 45 degrees away from your torso, which is perfect. It's not right in narrow, guys, and it's certainly not up here. That's going to put a lot of strain on the, um, the glenohumeral joint on the shoulder. Okay, you want your elbows to be 45 degrees away. Okay, so that's the angle we want. Not right in tight, not higher in between, okay? Good. If you look at Bex's head, it is way in front of her hands. It's not up here. She has her hands in line with her chest, okay? Good, she's sticking to the tempo. Going through a full range of motion. Her chest is kissing the floor. Her nose is kissing the floor. And that's perfect. You don't want to see partial reps, guys. Full range of motion all the time. I'd rather you drop to your knees if you, um, if you need to. Good, so maybe then I'll, that's the third set. Okay? The hardest press ups. Bex is finding the press ups slightly harder, even though it's an easier band, guys. Okay, so if, if you have got different color bands or different resistance bands, you probably will need a tougher band for the rows. Okay, so set three. Put that over. You can do these standing, guys, if you want to. Yeah. Seat is quite nice, so your torso is locked into position and you can't use your hips too much. Okay, let's go. Squeeze that back. One. Two, three, four, five, good. Six, seven, 
certainly get better his heart rate higher on the mile zone and burn more maps but I'm telling you resistance training is key to building muscle boosting your basal metabolic rate elevating our metabolism and making yourself you know your body burn fat while you rest okay so that's what you want to do make your body a fat burning machine okay right the last set so because it's the last set we'll do as many as you can all right so maybe better might want to put her knees a bit further back to make sure she fails the further her knees are back the harder it is more weight is going through her chest. Good, four, three, two, one. Two, four, three, two, one. Three, four, three, two, one. Four, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Six, four, three, two, one. Seven, four, three, two, one. Eight, keep pushing, let's go. Four, three, Two, one, nine, let's go. Two more, four, three, two, one, ten, last one. Get, get 11 or 12, it's 11. Get it again, last one. Yo, great. So you can see Bex there, the last two or three reps, she wasn't being able to stay really tight through her torso. She was coming up in a bit more like a wave like fashion, which is fine. So technical breakdown there on the last couple of sets. So we go straight in the rows now. That's fine, this is the last one. Should get those arms burning a bit more. Chest up, driver's elbows back towards the hips. Good. If you want to rotate your hands slightly, if that feels comfortable, you can really try and get those lats and the mid back working hard. Good. Make sure you breathe, guys. Don't hold your breath. Good. Squats. So with split squats guys, yeah, you're going to put your feet on train tracks. What I mean by that is you don't want your feet to be on a tight rope. Yeah, so you're going to be losing balance, not in the circus, you want to get strong. So go into a, a, a squat stance, take that foot straight back, so you're still along different lines. Okay guys? Okay. Cool. Yeah, you're going to put your rep. Okay, so you're on different lines guys, okay? And then what we're going to do, is in that position there, we're going to drive that front knee forward, right down as low as we can, staying upright, and we're going to pop back, one, down slowly, deep as we can, pop up, and two, I'll show you on the side, okay, so with nice wide stance, our heel is up on the back leg, chest stays up, we're going to go right down as low as we can, that back knee stays straight, the knee doesn't touch the floor, my hamstring is in contact with my calf, and I'm popping up, yeah, down slowly, three, Two, one, we're pausing for one second, we're tensing our glute, feeling that stretch, popping up. Three, two, one, pause, tense the glute, feel the stretch, pop up. Okay, that's our technique. Okay, we're back to go for 12 reps on your weaker leg first, we just leg in front, and then your strongest leg. That's our first exercise. So back comes on in. Yeah, here we go. Okay, chest up. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, pause, and up. One, good, three, Two, one, pause, and up. Two, three, two, one, pause. Three, three, two, one, pause, up. Four, three, two, one, pause, up. Five, so next, carrying on that tempo, really strict, hitting 12 reps. Good, it's a bigger movement now, bigger muscles involved, quads, glutes, hamstrings. Okay, toes have got to grip the floor. Going for 12 reps. Good, we've got three sets of these guys. If you've got dumbbells, you can use them. And I'll show you how to use the band for the next set. Okay, straight to the other side. 
Good. Let's take one. Three, two, one. A little pause for a while. And two, three, two, one. Pause and up. Three, three, two, one. Pause and up. Four, three, two, one. Pause and up. Five. Good for ten more. Good. Halfway. Good. Make sure you breathe. Bex's heart is the highest it's been now so far. She's in the blue zone. Good. Gaining meps for her challenge. Good, well done. Nice work. Getting her 12 reps, well done, that's awesome. Good. Okay, 12 inside. Perfect. So next exercise, guys. You saw the Swiss ball, we've been telling you for a while now, you advance the Swiss ball. Bex is gonna line it back. Yeah. Slide down. Yeah. Same rep scheme, guys, in number 12. Bex is gonna have your legs straight. Dig your heels into the ball. Okay, what she's gonna do is bring the ball into her bum first. So her heels are gonna go into the ball. Knees are bent 90 degrees. She's gonna keep the ball there. Now what she's gonna do is lift her hips up. High as she can. One. And down slowly. Good, right down. She's gonna go for 12 reps. For the ball, the knee stays 90 degrees all the time. The only thing that moves is the hips. So her hamstrings are working isometrically and her glutes are working then concentrically and eccentrically. So there's a lot of tension on the hamstrings. Just try to get as high as you can. Squeeze in the bum and then down slowly. Pause it at the top. Up and squeeze. Good. This exercise, guys, you're gonna do 12 reps. Rest 10 seconds and then pump in. Try and do five more at a slightly faster tempo. So there's a rest pause method on this. Is that? Last one. So 12. Yeah, she's gonna rest 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 20. She's gonna do five reps a bit more explosively to get a bit more volume in these hamstrings. Three, two more, four, five reps. How's that? Yes, okay, so she's burning, okay? Heart rate's nice and high from that. So you've just got three sets of these guys. That's one set. If you're struggling with the split squats, guys, you can use a band uh, to help you balance. Just tie it underneath something at home. So we're going to go here, we can place it under the sofa. Pinch your back standards in your hand here. Yeah, opposite leg. Yeah, and all the, the further away you come, the more tension is on the band. Yeah, but as the back goes down, the tension can drop off a little bit. Yeah, but then as she comes up, that band's going to lengthen and give a bit more tension through her quads. So that's a really good way of doing it. Some of my clients actually prefer this because it gives you a bit of hold on to and it's, it is balance, okay? It gives you a bit of balance. Okay. So 12 reps back. Pause in and drive it in. One. So look at the movement, guys. Think escalator. Not elevator. Next is going forward. That knee travels forward over the toes. It's not an up and down motion. She's going forward with it, okay? Good. Pause and run back. Good. The shoulder should pin back. So she is getting upper, upper back activation as well. She's not letting the band pull it forward. She's retracted. Traps are down. She's getting a lot of mid back work as well. Cool, both legs. So we're doing it, we're dedicating a bit of time to some strength work, guys. Down slowly, pause the bottom, and drive up. One, good. And again, the harder the band, guys, the thicker the band, the harder it will be. Good. Do you find it easier with that balance? Yeah, so Bex finds it easier because it's a balancing thing, which is great because it is more resistance going through Bex's legs with the band as well. As she comes up, that front leg's gonna work a little bit harder, especially at the top. Because she's locked in, a bit like a hack squat machine, you can really focus on the, the, the correct muscles rather than worrying about balancing and, and, and navigating your body through space. That's right. That's right. Good. Perfect. Short rest. You want to drink, guys, you can. You know, remember, this is, this is strength work. Okay, so Bex's heart rate now. That's the highest it's been, guys. It's well into the blue zone if you've got your heart rate monitor on. But I'd advise you to open up the My Zone app just to see how hard you're working. You shouldn't be in the yellow or red zone just yet. If you are, maybe you need a bit more conditioning. Okay? 
So again, that's the that thing. If you want to work harder, guys, with this one, what you can do is you can try and do single leg. You try? Oh, can I do it? Okay, one, do six on each leg. Really over the single leg option. But you keep that ball pulled in your bum. The single leg option is way, way, way more intense. Because all your body weight is going through one hamstring and one glute. So try and do six on each side. Oh, yeah. Okay, other leg. Good. And then if you find six okay on single leg, you can try six, uh, eight next week, or ten the week after, and we can build up the volume, guys, okay? But still, you've got to keep that 90 degree bend in your knee. Oh, she's sweating now. Here we go. I got another first gear, guys. Six. Okay, now do you get two legs now? Two legs at once. Go for six more, go. Good. Way easier. Yeah, so the double leg version is certainly one that I would utilize with Bex if we were training it on a one-to-one -one basis. Good. Yeah, two sets there, guys. One more set to go, and then we got our conditioning. Okay, perfect. You know? Yeah, hamstrings, guys, and weak muscles. We sit on our backsides a lot. You know, a lot of people do have underactive um, glutes, so it's good to really fire them up. A lot of people have weak hamstrings, especially when it comes to home workouts, because we do a lot of jump squats, jump lunges, uh, burpees, and all those exercises. And star jumps, all those exercises are very important dominant. It's important that we do get some exercises into that posterior chain to keep it um, strong. Alright? Okay. Oh, the G day's coming off, guys, yeah? We, I told you we got to work it. Here we go. It's the first time I've seen this off in months. You've been freezing for the last few months, here. Okay, right. Remember what leg we've done first. We normally go with the weakest leg in front, okay? Opposite hand if you're going to hold the band. If you've got dumbbells, you can hold them in each arm. Good. 12 reps. Go and get us a different band because our next series needs it. Okay, good. 12 reps, guys. Single leg version. Three. Four, come on. Five. Six. If you're struggling the single leg, guys, stay with the, the bilateral. Two legs is, um, is fine for most people. We're just showing you the progressions today with the band, the, with the, the split squats, and uh, the single leg variation here. So remember this set is rest pause. So you do six each side, you do a single leg. 12, if you're doing two legs, rest 10 seconds, and then you're gonna pump in more reps, yeah? Six, eight, 10, so you're gonna do three, two, one, two, one, 10, 10. Nine, faster tempo, get some blood into the muscles. If you sat on your backside all day, working from home, blood supply to the glutes should be poor. This is really gonna ramp it up and help with problem things like cellulite. Yeah, blood flow to the area is certainly gonna, gonna help. Here we go, perfect, so. 
A's and B's done guys. A's is upper body, B's is lower body. So definitely having a great total body workout here. Okay, so our C series now guys, we do 21, 15 and nine, okay? Now, if you do have some mini bands, these are really, really good, okay? You can get them on Amazon for a couple of quid. Yeah, oh, again, we recommend having variations of bands for the home workouts. Okay, if you haven't got the mini bands, there's the small ones, you can wrap these bands around your ankles, okay? All we're gonna do, yeah, put it around your ankle, yeah, and all it allows us to do is a jump motion, which is really gonna fire up your glutes, especially glute medius, okay, for you, uh, for you women that want a nice booty, but for you guys as well, it's gonna add another muscle group to the burpee. So, all we're gonna do, we've got 21, 15, 9, we do a burpee, yeah, up we go, and then jump the legs out, that's one. Down we go. Jump the legs out, that's two. We're gonna do 21. From there, we're gonna jump the legs out, squats. Two, three, four, okay? So we're gonna do 21 burpees, 21 squat jumps, 15 burpees, 15 squat jumps, nine burpees, nine squat jumps, okay? I didn't tell Bex about this part of the workout because I thought she might not want to volunteer, all right? We'll go with the red band, which is not too bad. Yeah, it's a bit of resistance on there. Yeah. And this is where now, if you've got the Minds on app, guys, you can see your heart rate working. We should be going close to yellow, maybe even red, by the time we get to the nine and the nine. All right, so let's go. Okay. Oh, she's giving you a look at that then. Three, two, one. Let's go, burpee, and up, okay? Next, we do the 21 burpees properly, and then we'll show you some modifications for the 15 and nine. But those of you that are really super fit, do the burpees properly. If not, guys, you can use a chair. Yeah, and you just do a, a down up, okay? So that means you don't go chest to floor, okay? Good, a bit back to going chest to floor. More muscles involved, a lot harder. Okay, keep breathing, deep breaths. Good, you can see she's flying through the zones now. Yeah, got the mice on up here. As you can see, she's in the green zone, yeah, which is the aerobic zone. So her heart rate's now up to 133 beats per minute, which is great. Okay, she's absolutely kicking ass, good. Keep smashing that, Bex, 21 reps if you can. Good, Bex used to do a bit of CrossFit back in the day. Rolling back the years, she is. That's it. Good. 27 minutes, Bex, good, hold on. Perfect, she's in the yellow zone, guys, yeah? So there she is now, yellow zone. She's starting to work more anaerobically. She's getting shorter breath, okay? Heart rate's up to 156. Okay, so great. This is a great app. Get that my zone belt on and we can see how hard you're working. Right, 21. Okay, into the jump squats now. Yeah, and a little squat. Good. So as she jumps wide, guys, she goes into a squat. As low as she can, which is perfect. 21 of these. Good. Heart rate's at 84%. We'll get in the red zone now, guys. Yeah. Good. Oh, she's dying. Okay. 85%, guys. Yeah, well done. If you've got your heart rate monitor, make sure you can see your screen as well. Yeah, see this, uh, this app? Make sure you're also in the yellow zone, guys, by now. You should be in the yellow zone. Okay, so we've done our 21 and 21. If you need a quick drink, have it. Ideally, we'll go straight in. Bex is going to demonstrate an easier version, the down app. Okay, so here we go. So she's not going to go chest to floor now. A bit of an easier version for you. Okay? Don't do the easier version unless you're absolutely dying, okay? You can make this easier as well, guys, by putting your hands on something that's elevated, maybe a chair, all right? If you haven't got the ankle, ankle band, you can still do the motion, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, pick some of these up on Amazon, they're not expensive. Mini bands, guys, okay? Well done, 15 reps this time. Good. Bex in the train for a few weeks, so this is gonna kill her today. Go, go, go. Done, okay, jumps now, 15 jumps. Good. If you find the knees too hard on your knees, guys, what you can do, you can sit down, put your bums into the Swiss ball, and stand up. You can do box squats, all right? Just do normal squats, okay, that's absolutely fine. Normal squats work, or you can sit on a chair and stand up, all right? Good. Okay, she's on 87%. Okay, she's down to 21, guys. She's done 15. Next stop is nine and nine. Yep, you can see her heart rate here. Yeah, 87%, for those of you who can see that. Okay, let's go, Bex. 
Nine and nine. Come on. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Good. Four. Three. And two more. Your legs are good, yeah? Two. And one more. Good, okay. Excellent. Do a jump squat to finish. Good. Oh, quarters are burning now, yeah? Especially after those good squats. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, guys, that took next four minutes and seven seconds. Pause this video if you haven't finished now, okay? You keep going, you do your 21, your 21, your 15, your 15, your 9, and your 9, okay? Bex, you have a little drink, okay? You guys keep working, but press pause, because we're going to move on to our D-series in the next 20 seconds or so, okay? If you guys keep working, pause this video if you haven't finished yet, and you'll make sure, guys, that you get it done, okay? Well done. Okay guys, Bex had a little rest and explain the D-series. Okay, our D-series now is, it's tough, but it's 45 seconds of work. You haven't got to smash it as much as you see. It's just about keeping that heart rate up and burning some more calories, guys. Okay, we've got two exercises. We do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. That's once through. We're going to go through three times. It's going to last a total, guys, of six minutes. Okay, happy with that? Okay. So, the first exercise is a press up to touch. See, all you're going to do, you can put your mini bands on the floor. Yep. Yep, you can do a press up. Okay, and then touch the mini bands. One. Press with your knees is fine. Touch the mini bands. Two. If you can, go touch the mini bands off the floor. Yep, and then do your press up off the floor. Touch the mini bands. Yep. And that's how we want to do it. And then our next exercise. We're gonna stand up on here. Yep. Yeah. All we're gonna do, yeah, 45 seconds, bend over, yeah, is just work, guys, yeah, that range, yeah, into our rows, bend over rows, try some blood into that back. Okay, so we're gonna really work chest and back a bit more rapidly with a bit more core work. Alright? Happy? Okay, so it's 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Let's do it. This is going to really burn now, guys. Put more muscle building for us. Okay. Ready? Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. If the presses get too hard, I'll show you how to amend it. But ideally, you want this is more core, so the press is on your knees are okay. But then that little touch in that high plank position, all those obliques have got a brace. The abs have got a brace to keep your body nice and uh, and still, after all those burpees as well earlier and the press to the A series, your triceps, your deltoids, your chest, is all starting to get a little bit more fatigued. Good. Well done. Excellent. Love it. Good. Okay, you've got 10 seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Perfect. Sit back to chest again tight. Okay, so you need to do a row now. Good. So your heart rate will stay quite high during this, especially if you go quite in this quite fast after the 21 59. Okay, three, two, one, go. So it's rowing. So we've more reps now. Yeah, reps, reps, reps. Keeping that chest lifted. Good. Drive those elbows back towards the hips. Okay. That's it. Here we go. You can hunch the or bunch the band up in your hands and put a bit more tension. Good, keep working, squeeze that middle of your back. Good, breathe, breathe, breathe. It's hard to get oxygen in when you bend over, but it's good. 15 seconds to go, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, keep working, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 15 second rest, good. One set then, Bex goes straight back now into her press to touch. If you're struggling with the press, guys, all you can do is you can just touch, 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 touch. It's more of a high plank forward tap, okay? Three, two, one, 45 seconds, let's go. Good, nice. Good, 
Perfect. So guys, please work up. I don't want anyone losing strength with home workouts. So that's why we're doing different press variations. A's have got press ups. Your conditioning has got burpees, which is a dynamic push up in a way. And this has got more modified push ups to really fatigue the pecs, the delts, and the triceps while integrating the core. Okay, 20 seconds to go. If you're struggling, just only toes and do touches. That's it, touches, good. So as soon as you can't do any more press ups, you just go into the, the, the taps, okay? This could be a kitchen roll, it could be a kettlebell, it could be a dumbbell. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Rest, 15 seconds, here go. Whew, that? And if your wrists are sore, guys, you can potentially go on dumbbells. If you've got some dumbbells there. Okay, four, three, two, one, good, here go. That's it, pump it in. As you can see, guys, Bex's back is nice and straight. Her head is in alignment. Good, she's working it. We got the G-Ling off and we got the other top off. <laughs> it must be a good workout. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 25 seconds to go. Good. Good. Keep going. 45 seconds is tough. Okay, 15 seconds left. Good. Right? It is good. 10, 9, keep pulling your layer. 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and two sets done, guys. 15 seconds rest, one set to go. So the A series, guys, recruited those muscles, and the B series as well. The C's and the D's were fatiguing them, yeah? Versus recruiters of Shansky used to say, a muscle isn't trained unless it's fatigued. So it's not just recruiting a muscle, we need to fatigue it. Hence why we're doing this D series, which is a lot of volume. Okay, three, two, one, last set of each. And that's a great home workout, guys. Good. That's it. So, back to the now. Just come on in here. Just perfect. Good. You guys in the group that are watching this, yeah? Full press ups and a nice big reach. That's what we want from you guys. Good. Good. I haven't stopped my, start my stopwatch. We've got for 15 more seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Come on, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 15 second rest. We've got one more exercise to go, guys. Okay? Sweat. Good. Okay. Last set. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So, next we go 45 seconds. That's it. So, as you can see, guys, the heart rate's been in between yellow and green for this last little bit. We've been working now for nearly 40 minutes. So it's a really good home workout, doesn't take loads of time. Yeah, and Bex is driving those elbows back now towards the hips. You can see her heart rate staying well in that green zone, which is great, getting aerobic adaptations, even though she's doing, um, doing weights. Okay, so you've got 10 seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest, three sets, done. Perfect, six minutes as a DCV, guys. So that's our workout all done. How do you feel? All right? Good, so it feels good. All right, that was, a, like I said, a 40 minute workout. Bex has burned 227 calories. Uh, she's got 64 myosome points, and her heart rate is 144 still. Now at this point, even though she finished about 20 seconds ago, she's still in that green zone. Uh, didn't hit any red zone today, but got into the yellow zone, which is, uh, which is great. So guys, that's a really good, um, Good workout. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Any questions, obviously let us know. Remember, train movements, not exercises. If you haven't got a Swiss ball, um, obviously you need to try and replicate the same muscles if you can with some form of hip extension. If you can't do split squats because of your knees or whatever, try and find another quad exercise that works for you. All right, and any pulling motion, if you haven't got the bands, get them on Amazon, guys. They're not expensive, and it means that these workouts then are much more efficient and effective because you can actually do the ones that we want you to do. Swiss ball and bands will probably set you back about 30 quid for the full set and a ball, and then we've got you covered, guys, with these home um, workouts. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, guys, let us know, and uh, we'll see you next time for the next version of the home workout, which will be Total Body 2. That was Total Body 1 today. See you soon, guys.